All right, guys, so today I wanted to talk about different stadiums from around the United States that have gone abandoned. It's that period in between them losing their tenant and actually getting demolished. Normally, we're used to stadiums losing a team and then immediately being demolished, but these stadiums, there was a lull period that basically made them abandoned for multiple years. And the first one, we're going to go all the way back in the mid-1900s to Connie Mack Stadium or Shribe Park. I remember it as Shribe Park. This was an early MLB stadium, one of the legendary stadiums that did fall, unfortunately, into a state of abandonment. And this is a stadium that broke ground all the way back in 1908. It opened in 1909 and it was closed in October of 1970 and it immediately fell into a state of abandonment all the way until when it was demolished in 1976. So for six years it was abandoned and unfortunately in 1971 it did catch on fire damaging it heavily. This stadium had amazing exterior architecture and you just think you know, in Philadelphia, imagine if this stadium was grandfathered in as one of the best, you know, MLB stadiums of all time. Imagine if it was still around today, the design of it, it was used, at least kind of the upper deck structure design was used in the Citizens Bank Park design as kind of a nod to the old legendary stadium. So for six years, it was abandoned. Unfortunately, just a year after it went abandoned, it got caught on fire. And there are some interesting photos from 1973 of the architecture going abandoned. Pretty sweet when you look at all of those. And then just three years later, they finally did officially knock it down. And there are some very sad photos of it because this was one of the great older stadiums in MLB. I would say there's probably five or six of them. The Shribe Park was definitely one of them, opening in the early 1900s, the beautiful old exterior architecture. But unfortunately, it did get demolished. It was not saved like Fenway Park and Wrigley Field. The next one we're going to be looking at, it is Metropolitan Stadium. The construction on this beginning in 1955. Yeah, this is the one with the great photo of uh, surrounded by nothing. That looks so peaceful right there. But yeah, I mean, they barely had any seating up at that point. This was a multi-purpose stadium and it's like they kept adding seating onto it. It was a very disheveled look with Metropolitan Stadium. I didn't like the look for either baseball or football, but this was located in Minnesota. And obviously with how cold it gets, the Vikings playing there, it was brutal, especially when it got into the colder months. The Vikings ended up moving into the Metrodome. And now they're at U.S. Bank Stadium. But this stadium was officially closed in 1981 and it immediately fell into a state of abandonment. And there are some photos of it in its dilapidated state. It was later demolished about four years later. The construction cost on it around $92 million. But again, it did go through several renovations, several seating expansions. You can take a look at some of the older photos and the newer photos of Metropolitan Stadium, unfortunately falling into abandonment. The next stadium we're going to be looking at, it is RFK Stadium located right in and around the District of Columbia. This stadium, you know, you have to give this stadium credit. It kind of had a rebirthing from 2005 to 2007 because it hosted the Washington Nationals. The Expos leave Montreal, get rebranded to the Nationals, and, and they need a stadium, so there you go. I'll be honest, I really didn't hate this cookie cutter because it did have a nice curve in the upper deck, at least a little bit. Listen, you're looking for any sort of unique factor when it comes to cookie cutter stadiums, but unfortunately, this stadium as well fell into a state of abandonment. It was closed in 2019, but let's be real, it was barely hosting events from 2013 to 2020. 19. It's last really relevant event, I would say. It used to host a college football bowl until the end of the season. That happened until 2012. So it has been abandoned for four years and now they right now are demolishing it. And believe it or not, it is a good location. It's like a fan favorite. A lot of Washington Commanders fans want their new stadium to be built on the site of RFK Stadium. So it is currently being demolished as we speak. I, I don't know the update on it, on it being demolished, but I, I heard like a three or four months ago they were demolishing it, so maybe it's already done, but either way, it was abandoned and pretty much irrelevant forever, and then it did get the Washington Nationals, and then it became irrelevant again. It's just a completely obsolete stadium, and it's like the last Mohican, the last remaining 
cookie cutter multi-purpose stadium but it is no more and it is being demolished so there's that one the next one we're gonna be looking at it is tiger stadium so certainly the legendary fully closed stadium with the two decks very close to the action really nice retro the tigers leaving this going to comerica park kind of had an interesting process in terms of its demolition it opened in 1912 you know i was just looking at the date of tiger stadium April 20th, 1912, <laughs> right after the Titanic sank, and then it closed in 2001, and it took seven years for it to be demolished. They started demolishing it in 2008, but during the initial stages of them demolishing Tiger Stadium, they said they were going to save a few different parts, and so you can see some pictures of Tiger Stadium with the area behind, like the seating area behind home plate, not demolished, but then they just said, no, we're going to demolish that as well, and it was completed in September of 2009, so for seven years years from 2001 to 2009 Tiger Stadium was pretty much vacant pretty much abandoned at that point they were trying to save it honestly it would have been interesting if they would have considered some type of big time renovation to Tiger Stadium I mean it's just tough Tiger Stadium is very similar to old Comiskey to where it has such an old outdated design even though it's like a legendary status stadium it would be very hard logistically to try and renovate something like that in my opinion it would just cost so much you would have to change the entire thing Thing. Just because the exterior, the interior, the way it's shaped, it's just very outdated. So the Tigers, they moved to Comerica, and, and you know, I've talked about Comerica Park. It's just kind of a bland stadium. Certainly a lot of people would consider that a big downgrade considering Tiger Stadium lasted as long as it did, and it is very beloved in that aspect. The next one we're going to be looking at, it is Baltimore Memorial Stadium. So this one, I would say, you know, very similar to Metropolitan Stadium because it's not a cookie cutter, but it is multi-purpose and they just kind of had seats everywhere. So it hosted both, both football and baseball. It opened in 1922, but then in 1950... It opened originally in 1922. That was the first version. And then again in 1950, a lot of seating expansions happened there. It ended up closing in 1997, fell into a state of abandonment for three years, and was demolished in 2001. So it was abandoned for around three years as they were getting ready to demolish it. And there are some photos on that. Not really a memorable one there. And then this is the Rubber Bowl. So this is one of the more famous college football stadiums. I would say the most famous college football stadium that went abandoned because normally college teams just keep renovating their stadiums. They never leave. A lot of really old college football stadiums. But the Rubber Bowl last hosted a game in 2008. It opened all the way back in 1940. And the final demolition happened from 2018 to 2020. They couldn't demolish the one or like take out the one wall of seating because it was right next to a highway and it was being used for as support like through concrete. So they had to leave it up. And then I think recently in 2023, they did finally demolish it. So it was abandoned for basically a decade and there are some crazy photos of it. It looks completely just horrible and dilapidated and very sad when it comes to that. And then this is one that I would say right now is pretty much abandoned. I mean, you could say it's very vacant. Uh, this is the Aloha Stadium in Hawaii. So this used to host the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. This was the site of the Pro Bowl. I would certainly say when it comes to Aloha Stadium, it was best known for the Pro Bowl. This stadium was terrible. It just, it didn't connect and it was kind of used as multi-purpose. MLB played like a few exhibition games there, but really it, it was like supposed to be multi-purpose, but it only hosted football, which makes it even worse. And it opened in 1975, only lasting until 2020. 20 and it was declared unsafe and it's been abandoned ever since and there was the thought that they were going to demolish it in 2022 but it, apparently plans got put on hold and we know Hawaii right now is playing at a very bad you know it's not even a stadium it's like a practice field with they, they've put extended seating around it and Aloha Stadium is waiting right now to be demolished there unfortunately are no recent real photos of Aloha Stadium in its current state I don't think it would really be that bad considering it's only been like a few years that it's been abandoned, but I would imagine it would get demolished in probably a few years time, I guess we'll have to see. But those are just some different stadiums that fell on hard times, went abandoned, they were not knocked down immediately. I mean, most of those cookie cutter stadiums they would, you know, the, the team would leave and then the next like three months, they would just be knocked down immediately. Like look at Yankee, old Yankee Stadium. I mean, they need the land obviously in New York City, but that thing went right
right away. Uh, but either way, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.